Farmaniaga shareholders have rejoiced over 6.1% dividend yield in 2014. Now the shareholders are promised with a sustainable growth as the company aims to rake more profits from its private businesses. In the next three to four years, Farmaniaga targets to increase its private businesses to 60% from the present 42%. It plans to reduce reliance on concession contract to 40% to ensure income flow is not interrupted when the contract period ends in November 2019. Currently, the company's main profit contributor is from securing concession contract with local university hospitals, whereas the private businesses make up the smaller chunk. So we have many uh, products in the pipeline, uh, uh, increasing the uh, sales in our private market. So if you take a look at year after year, it has been uh, increasing as far as non-concession into the concession. Means we are increasing the number of, uh, the percentage of the non-concession business. The company is also eyeing to open more standalone pharmacies under its Royal Pharma brand. Farmaniaga's profit almost doubled to 93.8 million ringgit in 2014, from 55.2 million ringgit a year ago. For the financial year ended December 31, 2014, Farmaniaga declared a net dividend of 28 cent a share, which nearly doubled that of the previous year. Meanwhile, Emran has also brushed aside impact from the introduction of GST, saying that 90% of its pharmaceutical products are zero-rated. Jacqueline Peng, DHTV.